Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. I recorded a Brothers Talk Sunday meeting and this talk was so funny that they're making activities a crime. Like if you want to go rock climbing, uh, if you want to surf, um, anything like football, to claiming that this is going to take you away from the true meaning of life and understanding of God's Word. But then they mentioned about the people trying to tell you what to wear and how to control your life. It's truly amazing how the brainwash of this talk. I'm going to play a little bit of it and we'll take it from there. Real life is applying the Bible, knowing what's right from wrong. Because think about this, the Bible and the people in the Bible was real people. Some angered and upset God. Some of them was righteous and they was blessed more. So, what I'm trying to say is, Watchtower is trying to get people to think that coming to their organization, you will have the real meaning of life. And you have to give up parts of your life of being a human that is curiosity of learning how to play a piano, curiosity of learning how to surf. It's called having fun. But you don't take God out of the picture or Christ. But this is what they are trying to say. They think your activity is, is eliminate the things that you could have fun with you and your family and go door knocking and possibilizing uh, people from their beliefs or turn non-believers into Jehovah's Witnesses. Is a joy of bringing people into a religion? I used to say yes till I found out the truth that everything I gave up and the little fun that I, I did have that my dad gave us to play football and to have fun with the neighbor's kids, we had a little bit of fun. But most of Jehovah's kids never had all of this. Their parents were strict. They wouldn't let them um, play with the neighbors or do any activity because the, the, the main activity is study, study, study and and be able to preach and bring people into Watchtower's teaching. Not God's Word, Watchtower's teaching. There's a difference from God's Word and Watchtower's teaching. Watchtower's teaching is 
to use their literature 98% and only use the Bible 2%. Because if the Bible was being used, I say about 98% and the uh, Watchtower's literature 2%, then there would be no Jehovah Witness would be, this organization would be destroyed. So let's take it a little bit more. Some people, maybe a little bit older, who think that the real life is having a good job and a nice home and having a secure future. Some people devote so much of their time, so much of their whole life for a certain cause maybe to uh, prevent climate change or to cure a certain disease. And they may have good intentions. Okay. A good cause, uh, being a doctor, um, study science, science to uh, come up with new medicine, new technology to, to help us to move along, to understand more truth. If it were for men that made computers and the internet, uh, that would have made the Watchtower happy. You know why? Because without computers, uh, technology with the phones today that can't get, wouldn't be able to get the internet, uh, Watchtower would be growing. Because if it were for God, help man along to get the internet up and running the good news of the world to the world would never been preached what is missing the missing is one proving that the religion you're in is false the internet has so much proof that people's false religions Two, it shows that if we rejected our religion and used the Bible, come close or close to God and Christ, then we wouldn't have to go to church. We wouldn't have to go uh, apostolizing false doctrines to every people's doors and trying to bring them in to a false religion that we have not even studied to see if our religion is right or wrong. I mean, you're taking man's word. What about these scam artists, people, that can scam you out of your money? Did you think they just learned that overnight? They might have learned it from somebody else. They might have years and years of experience of scamming older people out of the money, out of their life savings, all of that. That is what religion is. That is what Watchtower is. Bible students, these other religions, they are just like scammers to make you believe what they want, and that's what you do. Just like this guy is making these witnesses believing that entertainment is taking life away from you. And actually, it's their own religion that is taking the life out of every witness. They say you don't have nowhere to go when you leave. That is a bare-faced lie. You turn to the right God. You turn to the right Christ. You have the Bible. That's the reason it was written for us in the Hebrew, the Greek, for us to go to the Bible. You don't need a false religion or any religion to teach you God's Word. People, wake up. God's Word is in the Bible. You can PDF it, the Bible. You can download a Bible. You can get a Bible. You don't need to have a man or men telling you how to live a good life 
when you already know how to do that if you read the examples of the Bible. I mean, there were so much activities in Jerusalem that did different things that they had fun and all that. The only reason they was destroyed two different times was because they was bringing in false worship, false gods. And, and you do exactly what they were told not to do. You bring in this false false god Jehovah that was vented by the Catholics and you're worshiping him just like the Bible students worshiping this false god named Jehovah too much information too much proof you can go on there and google yourself who vented the name Jehovah and you'll find out the truth it's not a Hebrew name it never was so let's go a little bit further Lover of pleasure. Okay, I'm going to touch on that situation. Jehovah Witt says, You are love of pleasure of dedicating your life to the watchtower. And you're so blind, you're not even dedicating your life to God or Christ. I made that mistake. Others made that mistake. So you are doing exactly what you say in this talk. You're dedicating your life to a purpose that is no purpose for salvation. You're using people's that enjoyment of recreation, having fun. It's more not important to be in your church, your kingdom hall, because you think your understanding of real life is learning everything from the Watchtower's teaching. You have learned nothing, absolutely nothing, Jehovah Witnesses. The ones who woke up and realized what the Watchtower is, is the ones that is truly awake. You are in your father's hands, the devil. You choose to follow his lies from the Watchtower's teaching. You follow his examples by uh, letting pedophiles hurt your kids in the congregations and saying that your kid took it the wrong way when a guy raped them, took it the wrong way, or put their hands where it don't belong, or forcing them to kiss them. The child is misunderstanding what this elder or brother is doing. So, John Witt says, if you want to live a dangerous part of this world, you're already in it. You're trying to get tell them people to get out of the world. You tell them to join Watchtower and have their life stricken down and to be a nothing worthless piece of crap. Because when you join Jehovah's Witnesses, that's what you become. When you worship Satan the devil, that's what you become. Worthless piece of crap. Because you're worshiping the devil and your false god and false Christ. Thank you.